Welcome back. Now, it tells the story of a small town girl who wants to make it as an actress and arrives in town where she, she bumps into Drew, a bourbon room busy boy, or, or a bus boy rather, with dreams of rock and roll stardom. Well, that's the Lyric Theatre's latest production titled Rock of Ages, running from uh, Friday, the 17th of November, up until Sunday, the 10th of December, 2017. It's produced by Jakob van Rensburg. But uh, for more, we joined uh, by uh, the, the actor Claire Taylor and Mbumi. Very good morning to you, ladies. Thank morning, you so much for morning. joining us. Good Welcome. Morning, good morning. Now, I'm going to start with you. Uh, give us a background into this Feel Good musical. What's it all about? Rock of Ages is a laugh a minute, fast paced, load of fun musical. It tells the story of Drew, Drew and Sherry finding love on the Sunset Strip. We have some incredible music in the show, yes, incredible comedy, a great cast. So, all in all, I think it's just a laugh a minute. Yeah. Bucket of fun, yeah. Talk to us <laughs> about Sherry. Who is Sherry? Sherry Christian is a, quite a naive small town girl who comes from small town Payola, Kansas in the United States uh, to Los Angeles looking for stardom. She wants to be an actress um, and along the way she meets Drew who is played by Josh Ansley who was just the runner-up in um, The Voice. Mm -hmm. He's an incredible singer, yes. fantastic actor. Yes. Um, and they find love on the Sunset Strip. Wow. And yeah, some madness ensues. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's Sherry's story. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Great stuff. Yes. Now, Pumi, when you got the call that uh, you got the part to play the role that you're playing, how did you feel about it? Well, I was extremely excited. Um, this is my first musical of this magnitude so you know obviously it's just great career opportunities it's mm. a fantastic cast as, as Claire said um, it's a fantastic musical so I was I was elated <laughs> I can imagine yes I can imagine so how would you relate if at all with your with your character hmm so it's quite a tricky one um, my character she owns a strip club <laughs> <laughs> do so, tell <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think my character is also a nurturer um, in the environment. I mean, from a distance, you would, you know, she owns a strip club mm. and you would, you would think of her negatively. But once you mm. get to know this woman, you understand that in the circumstance she's in, she actually does a lot for these young girls. She's mm. a nurturer. They consider her um, like, a, like a mother. Mm. And I think I'm very much a nurturer as well. I mm. care for people. I have a genuine care for people. And I think that's what I'm able to bring to this character. So, so we should look far beyond the kind of business that she runs. Definitely. I think for me, the challenge has been achieving that light and shade. So understanding that she is a businesswoman that is running, you know, um, an edgy, cutthroat business. Right. But in the same breath, she's soft. She's caring. Um, so just forming a beautiful balance. What a beautiful those. contrast, though. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, Claire, any similarities between Claire and Sherry? I think so. I think, really? especially being in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. one starts out sort of bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with these dreams of stardom, and inevitably one finds out that it's not all glamorous and that it's hard work. It's a business and it's hard work, and yeah. there are certain realities to the business, and... Not all dreams, first of all, come true, but also your yeah. dreams change dreams as you change, grow yeah. and get older. And I think that's also a beautiful message of the show is that the dreams that you start off with or come in with are not necessarily always the dreams that you end with. Sure. And it's beautiful. There's a beautiful love story. There's beautiful character developments. There's really some stunning moments. And as I said before, the cast is just stellar. We have amazing, incredible yeah. names from... Craig Abani, who's a veteran of the stage, Zach Hendricks, Natasha van der Madva, Josh Ansley. Josh An yeah, yeah, actually, how would you describe your relationship with them? As an actor, I mean, he is, he is the consummate professional. Mm -hmm. He's Definitely. such a great actor, and his voice, wow, it yes. is out of this world. Yes. See, seeing him on TV or, or hear him, hearing him recorded is one thing, but hearing him sing live, Oh, he knocks it out of the park yeah. every Definitely. single time. Definitely. And yeah, a great actor, which we didn't all see on The Voice, but yeah, that's yeah, great. Actually, ladies, hearing you narrate uh, this, this, uh, you know, this, this film, yes. it makes me th think that it is actually a feel-good movie or a <sighs> musical. What is it about it that made it collect uh, a, Tony, a Tony nomination? Well, I think it's, it's, it's a collaboration of you know, various things. 
um, but to put the Mbumi take on it. You know, listening to Claire speak about the story, she's very right. And I think more than anything, it's definitely a coming age, coming of age story for mm. these characters. Um, you're watching people, you know, battle to become themselves. Mm. And I think that's something that everyone can relate to. Um, and I think specifically with this musical, it's done so well because, you know, it's a selection of some of the hottest songs. The music. Um, oh. We Built the City, Don't Stop Believing, Final mm. Countdown. Um, great stage, um, mm. great costumes. Um, so I think yeah, those are definitely contributing elements to that Tony. Yeah. And there's a beautiful nostalgia of the, if you were around in the 80s, if you grew up in the 80s, mm -hmm. I just made it into the 80s, but <laughs> we all know the music. Yes, the music, yes, everybody knows yes. the songs, the nostalgia is, it's a Why is it worth tapping. watching though? Sorry? Why, why is it worth watching? And what is the message behind the Rock of Ages? I think, as Mpumi said, it's very much a coming-of-age story and about dreams and what our dreams turn yeah. into. But also, it's just a ton of fun. Mm. We, mm. as actors, are having an incredible time. The rehearsal room has been such a jewel. Wow. The music is incredible. Yeah. It's stuck in my head, and I'm, I'm not nearly sick of it. It's what should just... we look forward to? I think look forward to amazing performances. Mm -hmm. um, I think every actor, singer has done amazing work with their characters. Um, I think look forward to coming away with a strong message. Um, don't stop believing. It's the long, last song we sing in, in the musical and I think it's a great takeaway. Um, a great reminder at the end of the year, starting to transition into the new year, you know. Don't stop believing. Claire speaking about dreams. Um, and I definitely think the musical reminds us of that. Mm, mm. So you walk out of there just feeling motivated, feeling good, and like you had a good time, like you were at a party as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a party. Yeah. It's a party. You guys are doing such a good job in promoting this musical. I'm so hooked. No, you have to I am come. so hooked already. <laughs> but thanks for coming to, uh, yeah. to Morning Live. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you for having us. Thank you right. for having us. <laughs> uh, that's um, Mpumi and Claire talking to us about this Feel Good Smash Hit musical stage production of the year, Rock of Ages, while well, Claire well, Clay is the lead actor playing the character of Cherie in the production which opens at the Gold Reef City's Lyric Theatre from Friday the 17th of November until Sunday the 10th of December.